speaking of the Bears, the Bears are nine point underdogs in the Simon versus Chad Bowl. We hopping on in the foxhole. Well, listen, you're, you know, you only love the Eagles and you can't see straight unless, <laughs> you know, so I'm happy to jump in the foxhole. I was going to make this an ED, but you want to get in the foxhole? Let's get in the fucking foxhole. Let's put the bears at plus nine in the goddamn foxhole. Gotta. And I I understand people's worries here. Hertz is MVP level playing right now. It is incredible. But holy heck, have they just had so many fortunate bounces going their way, these Eagles, these last couple of weeks. And this line has just ballooned up. I mean, if it was seven, sure, I could be talked into the Eagles because I make this line six and a half. And maybe I could give a little bit of a little bit of leeway to this Eagles team because they are the better side. But now we've crossed the key number of eight, eight and a half. We're all up to nine at this point with this Bears team. We just have to do it. We've just seen it so many times with Justin Fields. He's so athletic. He's so incredibly gifted that in games like this, he just keeps it close, especially at home this year. They've been in a lot of these games. I mean, that that Green Bay game was brutal. They, they were covering that game. They were winning the whole time. At the very end of it, a little broken tackle. Green Bay ends up winning by 10. That's just a really fluky, unlucky non-cover if you were on the Bears side. I just don't – you can't really count those things in these models. So, to me, I counted that as a win for this Bears team. So, I still gave them the benefit. I moved up the points. I make this game six and a half. It's nine just because the public is completely out on this Bears team. They're like what Chad kind of said earlier. I don't know if we were on air for it, but it's just about the Bears are already kind of looking for next year. They already know what they have in Hurts. I mean, on Hurts and Fields. They just want to keep him healthy and keep him upright. But he is such a competitor. Like to me, he's if he's playing this game, he's going full bore. Nine points in this matchup is just a lot of points. So Eagles, even if they're up big, up 20 in the first half. I still won't be worried because I've just seen this Bears team have multiple games. Even that Vikings game. Remember the Vikings were up big first half. Oh, the yeah. Bears come back. That's just how I feel about this Bears team. They're just a team that will keep coming back, keep fighting. You're never out of it. You're getting nine points in those kind of those for those kind of teams. You have to back it. Yeah. Look, if he's going to be playing, there's a possibility the Bears can score just because you can't account for Justin Fields. He's so athletic. Yeah. In the same way we've seen game changers like what Patrick Mahomes can do or what Lamar Jackson can do, you know, what we've seen Jalen Hurts do, like he's just gifted and like finds a way he can juke people in ways that five people in the NFL may be able to do. So of course you got to play the bears as nine point home underdogs. Do we think the Delta between the bears and the Eagles is smaller than say the chiefs and the Broncos? I do. Did I bet as much as I could on the Broncos at plus nine and a half? I did. So, of course, we're going to bet the Bears at plus nine. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I have six figures on this one just because uh, it's the MVP of the league right now and hurts. But, yeah, it's just it's just an overinflated line, like Chad was just saying. I've got eight figures on this game. Yeah, right. Eight. Eight figures. Eight figures.